Hello and welcome back to my Astro Engine Journey channel. Back outside, airplanes going overhead and neighbors blaring some music. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But finally got a nice day to get out here and uh, install our Alpha Axis guider and uh, camera. So we're going to try it. If you notice here, put here an image on the screen that uh, I did a quick little uh, side by side comparison and this thing's a little bit wider than I was hoping but you know I brought that up in a previous video well we'll see what we can do with it um, I got some travel left in that uh, uh, motorized focuser so we we should be okay so let's get to installing this thing shall we all right so the first thing I want to do is disconnect my camera and pull it off let me prop this up here real quick. Now, I am going to be keeping the original guide scope and camera on here uh, for the time being, just, just in case this doesn't work out, at least I'll be able to get back to using this without any problems. So, let me pull the camera off. Now, I can pull this off. All right. So, now, I think there was a little set, couple little set screws. I'm gonna have to pull that off uh, for this adapter, so. That's okay. I do have this ring here. So I'll pull this off as well. Yeah, I'll put that back on. Take a little look see in there. Looks like we're okay on dust so and yeah I'm gonna have to go get a some for those little set screws but let me at least try to get uh, this side mounted up here all right well unfortunately I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I'm going to have to go inside and look, see if I have any adapter rings to put onto that, um, as well as get the set screw for this. So let me go uh, look for that and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right. All right, we're back. Hopefully, I got this working this time managed to get the the adapter off set screws were in there pretty tight so I'm hoping oh, come to find out I didn't need to do the set screws so hopefully this fits inside here All right, so let me get this back, tighten back in. All that is is a little T-thread adapter for the camera adapter. Guess I didn't need that after all. I just had those really torqued on to the threads. Now, if I'm thinking about this correctly, should have another one that'll go on here, the OAG, and then one that'll go on here. So let me grab those. All right, so this is adapter plate here that brought it down from, I believe these are M M68 threads on the focuser. 
down to an M48, I believe. Um, that adapter came with the focuser, and I have been using that on the camera. So hopefully this little, let's see if we can get it in, in here, this little thin plate. It's got M48 on this side and the groove for the OAG on that side. So with any luck, this will do what we want. All right. And we got to remember our prism needs to be facing the OAT. or OTA rather. Now if I'm lucky, nope, that is not the right one. So let me get a different one. And here's another one of the uh, adapters that came with the OAG. Groove on this side to go to the OAG, and then the threads on this side to connect to my T adapter. And if I'm lucky, There we go. That fit in there real nicely. So now I'll grab my OAG. Now I'm gonna want now the curious part. I might have to move this off to the side just a little bit. of the camera that that uh, flash on the top might touch that so There we go, dropped in. And I was right, it is uh, impacting that. So, I will go a little bit. I don't wanna go underneath. No, but I don't wanna go Perpendicular, I might have to go perpendicular. So, let's get these tightened in here. And what I'll do is I'll loosen these guys up. And I'll get this guy lined back up to where I had it. All right, so right now I've got the guide camera over here. So with any luck, it's gonna be, if I put the, well, I guess it really doesn't matter because it's the prism that's gonna be impacting the, uh, sensor so but based on what I had earlier with the uh, with the diagrams if you notice in the previous video those diagrams I drew up um, they I should not be impacting the sensor for this particular camera the sensor should be uh, small enough that the prism will be outside of that sensor footprint um, that's okay. We'll see if we can make it do, make it work. So, now that that's set up, I need to get the camera 
and place it over here. So bear with me for a minute. Okay, so here we have the uh, ZWO ASI 174mm Mini. No dust in there. So we're going to put that sensor perpendicular like, or parallel like I said before. If it was up here, it would have been like this. We're just going to be over here. Still want it to be parallel. So I'm just going to lock this down temporarily. Actually, before I do that, let me pull this back out. I want to take the cover off. And I want to look. And I was, I was right. The prism, I really should move that in just a hair. Um, it looks to, it really looks to me, let me see if I can take a picture of that for you guys. Okay, so you can see that it is cutting off. It should be a nice round circle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect my camera. I'm gonna pull this off. Actually, I should leave that on. Hopefully, I have the right Allen wrench. Let's see. Nope. I need a bigger Allen wrench. So, let me go get a bigger Allen wrench, move this in just a little bit. And then uh, hopefully get a little bit better footprint on that uh, sensor. Back in a few. All right, so I've gotten the right Allen key. Just a little set screw right here. Allen key goes in there. And just like anything else, loosen and tighten as you need. But for right now, I'm just going to pop this back on. And I'm going to put it on the top side so I can look down in there while I'm making my adjustments. And... Trying to get it to right where it's coming. There we go. Okay. Let me tighten that down. All right. So now let me get the camera back on. All right. Now, let's take a look again, and looks really good. So let me get a picture of that for you guys. All right. So now let me put the, gu the guide camera on. And I'm gonna want it 
I said, I'm going to want a perpendicular. Excuse me, parallel. Now, my question is, does this distance equal that distance? Um, later tonight, we're going to find out. Luckily, these thumb screws just be able to slide them, slide them in and out as needed, and hopefully, we will do our alignment, uh, do a focus routine on the camera, the main imaging camera, and then get our uh, OAG camera. Uh, in focus and with any luck we will be good to go so let me get my heater back so I just need to connect up my cables and uh, get all that so I've got the RJ11 and the USB-C over here I could have put it over here but as you can see, we got the motor over here, and I really didn't want the, you know, because we got the thumb screws, and one of the thumb screws is right here. It would have been impacting the motor. Um, and lastly, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. So I couldn't go to this side, so that all my cables would come over here. I'm gonna have to come up and over this side or put the camera on the bottom because like I said uh, the helix focuser control uh, impacted the uh, flash housing on the camera if I had a dedicated uh, CCD or CMOS uh, you know it wouldn't be an issue because they all be back here you wouldn't have to deal with this DSLR stuff um, but for now this hopefully will work. Hopefully I didn't move the prism in too much to impact the imaging sensor. And yeah, so I just need to get my USB over to my hub, uh, the RG11 down to the mount, reconnect up my cables for my camera, and wait for it to get dark. Sun's starting to set, so um, yeah, we should be good to go. Installation was pretty easy. Um, like, like I said, you know, this was just a little bit, a little bit wider than what uh, I had before. So I'm really hoping that uh, I've got enough travel in this and with the uh, focusing mirror back here. I will hopefully be at a midpoint in uh, this in the um, motorized focuser so that I can still adjust in and out as needed uh, throughout the night. So, yeah, we should be good to go. I'm gonna get everything buttoned up. I'm gonna clean my uh, uh, my lens on the front, and that's gonna be it. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. Stick around for the outro. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button Subscribe if you so choose. Ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new. And as always, thank you, Clear Skies. Remember, dude.